I've been a waterman on the Chesapeake Bay since 1995. When you're out there on the water every day for that long, you see how things have changed. It's hard knowing there's nothing you can do but watch. My name is Bob Ingersoll, and I'm a farmer. The demand for our kind of work is only going up, and we're constantly looking at how to expand our yield without stripping the land or polluting the bay. The Chesapeake Conservancy has been focused on creating tools that help answer some of these questions. In the infancy of the Chesapeake Bay program, scientists built a scale physical model of the bay to understand how processes worked and to simulate potential solutions. A lot has changed since then, and technology has been the catalyst. The Chesapeake Conservancy has been a pioneer in the field of precision conservation, getting the right practices in the right places, but it hasn't always been easy. Until recently, land cover data was only available at 30 meters resolution and represented what the landscape looked like seven years ago. Not great for precision planning. We raised the support and spent 18 months working with our partners to create a one meter land cover database for the Chesapeake Bay program. This unprecedented project took a lot of effort and massive computing power. Now we are working with Microsoft and using AI and deep learning to accelerate our work both in the Chesapeake and across the country. Our collaboration is aimed at providing partners with the information they need to make informed decisions. The Microsoft Cloud is freeing up organizations to spend less time on technology and more time on conservation. Working with a conservancy, I am now able to restore and protect my lands with the same level of precision that I grow my crops. This allows me to focus on what I need to do provide food for people while sustaining the land and the bay. I love this water. I love this work. It's a special place out here, and it's up to us to protect it. <laughs>